So although only four uh, rounds are placed in the turret, the rest are stored in the back of the fighting compartment and in the front of the hull, um, to the right of the uh, driver. Uh, maximum ele elevation of the gun is 17 degrees, minimum elevation is 4 degrees, so it cannot do uh, hull down positions terribly well because it can't shoot from the top of a hill down easily. It was still significantly better than the T-55 though. There you go. Um, and that was part of, the reason why it looks like a wonky T-55 is it's got these weird little angles that are 1 or 2 degrees out of true, and that was to fix a lot of problems with elevation and rotation mm. and things like that. All right. Um, they got a 7.62 PKT uh, in the coax and 12.7 meter 50 cal uh, anti-aircraft uh, gun. They, they, they whacked that onto the loader's hatch, um, but, but that only became standard in 1972. Yeah, it was after the um, helicopter arrived on the battlefield as a tank killer. They said, we are going to need a big gun to shoot at helicopters with. Yeah. Yeah, just throw some rounds down range. Mm. Um, engine, the V55V based on the Kharkiv model V2. Uh, with 580 horsepower, later 620. Uh, torsion bar suspension, ground clearance 425 mils. Fuel, uh, it can carry 960 litres, uh, 1360 with uh, two 200 litre extra fuel tanks that they strap on the back that you'll always see. 